Presidential authorization for the military to detain terror suspects without charge or trial has left Americans wary. Washington says it's beefing up national security as part of the war on terror. But critics say fear-mongering is dividing and not uniting the nation, as RT's Marina Portnoy reports. The United States of America is home to over 330 million people. We are a country known for freedom. That was then, this is today. It's nothing you think. Can you be sure? Report suspicious activity to local authorities. The land of liberty is fast becoming known as the land of fear and suspicion. There are individuals in the United States who seek to carry out acts of terrorism. A post 9-11 slogan born in New York City has been adopted nationwide. Don't assume it was left by accident. If you see something, say something. The See Something, Say Something American campaign depicts terror scenarios and encourages members of the public to keep watch on, well, other members of the public. According to FBI pamphlets distributed to local businesses, potential terrorist activity indicators include always paying with cash, wearing backpacks and baggy clothes, and the discreet and prolonged use of cameras or note-taking. Even cyber cafe owners are encouraged to keep watch on any customers overly concerned with privacy. Even just trying to shield your screen from others can make you a suspect. What do we want? Questioning government policies or making anti-war statements can also land citizens on the U.S. watch list. As of 2009, the U.S. Defense Department categorizes public protests as low-level terrorism. We live in a military-dominated society, and the people are unaware of it that they're, they, they see uh, terrorism as a threat, you know, and 9-11 has created a level of fear that has been exploited and, uh, and sustained. The NYPD under fire again for its intelligence gathering campaign involving Muslim Americans. An illegal surveillance scandal erupted in the Big Apple after police officers were caught spying on mosques and Muslim communities. According to the Associated Press, thousands were under surveillance with no evidence or even allegations of criminal behavior. We have to keep this country safe. This is a dangerous place. Many in the U.S. fear that with America's escalating definition of suspicious activity, the government's expanding powers remain the biggest threat to the people's security. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.